Okay, there's a couple of issues. Uh, it's like everything else. One, once there's a game and you have rules for that game, people start to play the rules. So, for example, you can make sure that you cite a lot of your own papers in your papers, and in that way your citation score goes up. Now, the filters that are available now allow people who are assessing your work to exclude self-citations. So it's a bit like a cat and mouse game. You know, people are playing the rules, um, and then the rules are being uh, further developed to try and make them a bit more accurate. And there's an issue where, uh, in previous years, and even, even right up to now, that a lot of the engineering papers are not easily found by engines like the Web of Science. So in my area, if, if I'm publishing in chemistry, for example, um, because it's one of the sort of mainstream established areas for the Web of Science, I'll have an accuracy of maybe 90%, maybe even more than 90%. In other words, it'll find 90% of my papers that have been published. If you go towards engineering, that's not the case because a lot of the papers are published in conference, conferences or at conferences or conference proceedings, as they're called. And the search engines sometimes don't find these. So in engineering, you could have an, accu an accuracy of maybe 50% or less in some cases. So that means that the accuracy of these, of the numbers that come back from these bibliographic exercises is discipline dependent. It's changing, it's, it's changing in that the search engines are becoming more sophisticated. The information is being, is being shared between the different um, discipline domains. And so I can only predict that the accuracy will increase and increase as it becomes generally accepted that these tools will be used to, access pe to, to, um, to assess people's uh, output, their productivity, value for investment, all these sorts of things. Uh, so I think it's a trend that's going to increase. It's complicated, it's not simple. And uh, I think the tools will become more and more sophisticated and then just become part of the norm.